Happy Catter Day! I'm going to be making some window screens for my bus today, but my daughter agreed to cutting the frames for me because I hate the sound and feel of cutting into metal. Yay! So I'm going to show you some of the things that you need to make window screens for your bus. Okay, you're going to need a tape measure. Make sure you measure every window because there are going to be slight variations. You're going to need a straight edge to cut the screens and the splines. Um, a nail tap to uh, set these into the metal. You will need some screen frame corners. Um, a spline rolling tool. Um, splines and um, frames and then make sure when you get the frames that you let me see if I can find the measurement on one of these well, I took the stickers off of all these already but you want to know what size the grooves are in your frames so that you can get the um, right size splines for your frames and then another thing that I used is I used some of this foam, uh, foam um, on the inside of the window shield or window screen, sorry, because um, they didn't all sit very flush, which means buggies can still get in. So I put these on the inside of the frame so that when it's screwed into the window, it's a nice tight seal so that little creepy collies can't get in. And I think that's it. Um, you want to go through and measure all your windows from top to bottom and side to side and then you'll want to take one of these and you'll want to measure how far it is before your frame starts each way and mine is uh, three quarter by three quarters you add those together and then that's the amount that you're going to have to deduct from each of your measurements to make up the room for one of these on each side so that you don't make it too big. The other thing you're going to need is a miter box. Um, I suppose you could get around this but I find it easier to use this and then when you put the frame inside you'll need some of these so that you can hold the frames down and obviously a saw so you can cut it. Like the sound effects. <laughs> And last but not least, you'll need some window screen clips. Okay, once you get all your measurements, minus the um, excess that you need to take off for the corners, you want to go ahead and start measuring your frames. straight line. Ta-da! They're cut by magic. Kidding. My daughter did them for me. So she cut all the pieces out in advance. So I want to make sure that I measure. Make sure I grab the right pieces. And we're good. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take these little corner pieces. And there's really only one way that it will go in, so, let's see. So the side that has, where the spline goes in, these are going to go in, like, backwards. And then this will be the front of your screen, nice and clean. pieces, top to the sides. And you want to make sure that it's lined up like that. Take another side piece.
the screen out. I'm going to go put it up against the window and make sure it fits. Come with me. Piece number one. I'm going to get it up into that groove there because that will hold the top piece in place. And then make sure it fits all snug in here. And it fits. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one. Two more things I forgot to mention that you'll need. Duh. And some springs. And some scissors. Now we're going to put our screen here. Scissors. And you just want to make sure you leave a little bit on the end there. the screen in place. I'm going to take some of this spline and measure from, I usually give it like a little tiny extra bit, from side to side. And then I'm going to cut it. And take your handy dandy little spline roller. Make sure it's centered. stretch this as I go. go to the end of the frame like that just to make sure we have enough cut that sucker. too tight because then it'll make the frame buckle. So I'm going to straighten out the screen here a little bit. I'm not pulling it too tight. And then put this. And I don't know if you can notice that um, the reason you don't pull too tight is because as it pushes the screen in, it will make the screen a little tighter too. Straight edge. 
cut it. Take a little nail set. Push the edges in. You could probably use a flathead screwdriver for this too. Because the other side has the little dents in it. Take your little straight edge here and you're just gonna cut the screens. You're gonna do right on the outside of the spline like this.
before we install, we want to clean the windows. Next, I'm going to mark where the window clips go. Next, okay, now that the holes are drilled, I'm going to put a little silicone in the holes. I may go back in and put some on the sides though because I do know if when some wind gets in here I don't know if it's going to make it buckle and come out so but the top is in and the bottom is in so it's just this part here that wiggles in a little bit so I may go back and put some clips on the sides too and then anytime you ever want to clean it you just unscrew it clean your windows put the silicone in the holes again and screw it back in and then from the inside, um, I don't know if you can see that, oops, let me see. You can see the foam up in here. Um, if the foam wasn't in there, there'd be like a little gap where like little buggies can get through. So that's why I use the foam in here. Here we go. Got all the screens up. We got clips on the bottom and clips on the side and then they're snuggled up in that top part of the frame so the Pixie Dice Plus has window screens. Yay! Okay, that's the end of this video and if you found it helpful go ahead and like and subscribe and See you next time, Pixie Friends. Bye.